ThyssenKrupp Bilstein is an industry leader in high-tech suspension solutions for the automotive industry. At the plant in Hamilton, Ohio, nine universal robots now enhance production, handling machine tending, assembly, and inspection tasks. There was a, what we call this revolution, and I feel that we felt we were in the right time with the right opportunity to be part of it. Collaborative Robots was always the most attractive for us to go get more business, expand your facility without having to rely on uh, finding uh, resources constantly in, in such a warm market. And I said, that's no fence on wheels. And that for me like was when things really clicked. We decided to partnership with one source, one type of cobot, and that's when we, we pick our first cobot with, uh, with UR. We investigate a few other options. The UR had the most advanced solution for more precise peak and place, repetitive, easy to maintain, easy to program, and I think the most important was the speed. It has been fantastic. Today we have nine plus projects uh, implemented and uh, another list of another 40 to be implemented. Our president and, and CEO came with the idea of naming us the name of the presidents of US. Uh, and so we started with the very first one, George Washington. And uh, so far we have had uh, other 10 presidents already in our facility. So this is a very important facility. Once we got the first one done, it, it, it really spread quickly. We started to notice different applications all around the plant. The one has the inner tube, it forms it, it punches a hole in it and then places it on the transfer fixture. The second robot then picks that up loads it into the marriage station where it grabs the outer tube and, and marries them together and then it forms them one more time and sticks it on the exit chute. The UR10s also perform cleaning operations on the ends of the tubes, prepping them for welding. In the final assembly, the cobots handle post crimp, fill, and inspection. Before we would check two parts every hour to make sure that we were still where we thought we were, but now we have 100% inspection. There are different sort of projects. There are projects that have longer ROIs and projects that have short ROI. Collaborative robots that we see as a quicker return of investment. Right now we are attacking the ROIs that are in between 10 and 14 months. For testing new applications, we have both the demo unit robots. In addition to that, we actually use RoboDK, and that helps to actually see the robot going through its workflow, figure out if our cycle time is going to be accurate enough that it's worth prototyping and getting it out there, and then whenever we deliver it, it's almost ready to go. The goal was not just deploying Industry 4.0 and Cobots in this plant, it was literally to enhance the, uh, the experience of our employees and to make this place a, a, a good place to work. Operators are at the forefront of all the building that goes on in this company, so asking them, hey, where can we help you to improve the process, to, to improve the quality of this product, uh, we find that very useful. No operator will lose their job due to Collaborative Robot being implemented. Before my job was more manual, it was very painful at some point. You have to punch this, punch that, move this. So I had a lot of aches and pains. Now that the robots are installed, but that's ceased. Now that the robots is in place, my job is more easier and safer and calmer. I won't lose count of how much I ran because I can focus on that more than, you know, running around in circles. It has been a very fast-paced journey. So in less than two years, from the very first robot, we have been releasing it every couple months, a new cobot. And the future is, is it's great. The sky is the limit. I mean, we, we, there have plenty of opportunities out there right now. Mm -hmm.